Jason Burmis here. We're at the premiere of Invisible Empire on April 15th, 2010. This is my good buddy here, Matthew Medina, the head of We Are Change San Antonio. I don't want to say the head, but one of the main characters. We just put up one of your videos on Infowars.com. Yes. It's pretty much, it's, it's on the net. It's gone mega viral in three exactly, days. Exactly, and that's what's important. These movies go mega viral. Millions of people see them across the world, and that's what we're hoping to do with this film right now. It's been released on PrisonPlanet.tv. It's all over Infowars.com. It's going to be on YouTube. And without you guys out there, this movie movie can't make it big, so I'm imploring you, get copies of Invisible Empire, make copies of Invisible Empire, hand them out to your friends, your family, your co-workers, complete strangers, and get the word out. You know, I was involved in Loose Change Second Edition, I produced Loose Change Final Cut, I wrote and directed Fabled Enemies, uh, I worked on smaller levels on Truth Rising and the Obama Deception, but really I've been trying to make this film for five plus years. And finally when Alex Jones gave me the opportunity to make it, I jumped all over it. And when I came into this, I didn't believe in a new world order. I didn't believe in a push for a one world government. It was all too much for me to handle. And over years of research, I really came to the conclusion that, wow, it's not just a dozen or a hundred. There are thousands of quotes and people pushing for global governance and a new world order. And this really starts out with my story and how I got into it. I just want to thank you guys all for coming out here and supporting this. So kick off the movie. The third leg of the New World Order. We had the World Bank, we had the IMF, and now we have the World Trade Organization. The rigid New World Order is hoped for a new world order. Constructing a new world order in the New World Order of the 21st century. The New World Order we're going to put in place in this New World Order. In this New World Order. You like the movie? So yeah, I guess that's it. Um, you know, two hours and 14 minutes, I had to cut like 25 minutes out of it. I could have put so much more. I had literally another 250, 300 New World Order quotes. I really did my homework on this one. I hope you guys like it. Again, it's for the choir in the sense that it's got new information, new clips, people haven't seen it. But really, why am I preaching to the choir? I'm trying to bring as many more people into this as possible and relate to them that this is serious. We are on the verge of a global government and not one that is benevolent and in our best interest. So I, you know, I'll, I'll shoot out any questions you have, you guys have. Uh, I guess, I guess we can come over to the side and ask over by Joseph over here. So, yeah, sure, yeah. I'll take you right yeah, off the bat, man. Any questions? What, any questions? what do we really do? Um, I mean, what is the main? How do you fight it? Do? Yeah, I mean. Well, the bottom line is, first of all, you have to educate yourself. You can't just go in there with no information, and start telling your brother, or sister about a new world law. They're gonna laugh in your face. I know that was my reaction when people were talking. Yeah, there's a new world order. Yeah, they're gonna chip me. And I heard this stuff and I was just like, yeah, yeah, whatever, laughed it off. It wasn't until after 9-11 and coming across Alex Jones' film Road to Tyranny that I got mobilized, that I started making films. So how do we fight it? Well, first of all, you have to have a massive, nonviolent, peaceful resistance. If you look at any of the change that's come in this country and really any westernized nation in the last hundred plus years, it's through peaceful means. So what do you do? Well, you become the change you want to become. I look at people like Luke Radowski, who I met at, when he was 19 years old, before Loose Change Second Edition was even out, and we were doing screenings, I was talking to him and Dan Wallace, and they're like, well, what can we do? I'm like, start a grassroots organization. And a couple years later, the kid was 21 years old, he started We Are Change, it's now global. They're now the new media. You know, they're confronting Al Gore about climate change. They're confronting the big new Brzezinski about some of the things you saw here, and, and much, much more. So. Become a part of an activist organization, or if that's not your cup of tea, I don't know if you have children, become a member of the PTA, you know, because your children and what they learn is very important. If, if you don't have children, uh, run for your city council, run for state senator, run for Congress, support a congressman that actually believes in the Constitution and Bill of Rights. Constantly expose these corporatists, these elitists. They don't care about their $80,000 a year paycheck in Congress. No, they care about the special interest taking care of them in multi-million dollar deals to promote their agenda. 
So we really, in my, in my eyes anyway, if we want to bring it back to the Constitutional Republic, if we want to restore this kind of stuff, we have to take special interests out of the government. We have to limit their spending. Obviously, the Federal Reserve is a huge issue. I really didn't touch on this in this film because it's been covered in America, Freedom to Fascism, in Obama Deception, in Fall of the Republic. But that's a huge apparatus for globalization and really a consolidation of power where you see them taking away from the middle class, away from the lower class, even the upper middle class and consolidating into this power elite. So first I tell people to get educated, then I tell people to get motivated, then I tell people to take action. And there really are so many ways you can take action. Whether it's you picking up a $150 camera, going to these events, asking tough questions, putting it on YouTube, or like I said, running for a state office, getting the word out, infiltrating your kid's school. So it's not gonna happen overnight. Like Alex Jones always says, there is no silver bullet. I don't believe in a silver bullet solution. One, two, three, death, death to the new world order! Yeah. Just watched Invisible Empire by Jason Burmis. He summed up exactly what's going on with the new world order from how it was created to what's going on today. I think everyone needs to see this. Get a copy, show family and friends. If, if you don't know how to convince somebody, get a copy of this, show them, they will be convinced of what's going on. Time is short, you need to wake up, get active, get motivated, and make a difference while you can.